Hi guys, welcome back to Cornelia Love Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to scale fish. Even though when I go to the fish market they scale it, but I also like to scale it a second time around. So I'm gonna show you guys how I scale my fish. You know this fish is called Jamaican parrot fish. I love, this is my favorite fish. And guys, oh you know that the fish is fresh because of the eye. When the eyes are dark, it is not good. This is a fresh fish. You see how bright the eye is? yes and when you press down on it you see my finger is not pressing down look again you see that mean it's fresh fish fresh so this is red snapper so guys i'm going to show you how i clean my fish after i bought it from the fish market See, even though they scale it, you see the scale still coming off. When it comes to see, look at this. When it comes to my food, I don't play games. I don't play. See how much scale still coming off? Can't just buy a fish. Look at this. You can't just buy a fish and just go home and just season it like that. Uh uh, that don't work out the head like this you could use a smaller knife and just clean it and then inside here see all of this stuff you gotta use a knife and take it out also you could use the lemon and just rub it in be careful of the bones though just rub it in Let's rub it in. I wash my fish like three to four times. See this blood and stuff. I'm patient on certain things. Look in the head, see? I eat these things one person that I know can cook and clean their stuff properly. I don't just buy stuff. Look at this. Mm. Then I go through it again. Then you just cut it like this. That's the part you're gonna put the season in. See how sharp my knife is? Then I'm just gonna put this over here. I'm gonna show you how I do another one. This one is big and juicy. Ooh, yes. Fish market. There's a lot of fresh fish today, see? Scale still falling off. See, so after I don't do this, I gotta clean my kitchen properly because you know it's gonna smell like a fish market. See? Scale flying all over. Camera girl running. Showing her also how to clean fish, so she better learn. Big and juicy. <laughs> in in this one is not that bad. But I still gonna clean out this part. And the lemon again. And just squeeze it in. Even though I'm gonna wash it over and over again. Just take time out in what you're doing when it comes to food. Let's cut this in three because it's so big. I think this is a pound of fish. This alone. One pound. See how big it is? And you see the eyes again? Fresh. Not dark. And you see again? My finger not going down. Because it's, it's, it's fresh. When it's 
not good your finger gonna press all the way down soft soft fish so the next day you go to the fish market you just follow that instruction and you're gonna come out with fresh fish so now guys I'm gonna do the rest of this and then when I'm seasoning it I'll show you so now guys as you can see I clean my fish wash my fish I dry my fish and over here I just this is seasoning salt salt and black pepper that's all I put on my fish when I'm gonna excavate it but when I'm gonna like steam it I use different season fish season and anything I catch to do my my stuff so now I'm just gonna mix everything together like this and you don't have to measure this because you know some gonna left over you don't have to measure this I'm just a simple person just do simple thing I don't you know all right so now you just do it like this make sure it get in this get in this then just rub it like this rub it in add a little more because these going in the fridge because I'm not gonna use it right now just rub it in so when you're ready for it fish ready put it in the head because I like when the head tastes like it too a lot of person don't like using the head they call it out but uh -uh, I need my head so this is just a video of how I clean and season my fish so this is the snapper the parrot not snapper just do it like this this is nice but when you fry it dry You just do it like this just sprinkle it all over the fish and then you just put it you just put it just sprinkle it easy your fish and put it in the bag make sure you dry it off when you put it in the season because you know it's not gonna stay if you don't dry it off properly yeah and just that's it. That's how I wash and do my fish. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a blessed day.